What's up, world? So, um, after initially starting the car, I got a check engine light. I received a code number 22. On an OBD1, um, you have to jump a connector and then the check engine light will flash a series of codes to you. So, slow blinks are the first digit and fast blinks are the second digit. It came out with the number 22. So what that meant was that the ECU detected a problem with the VTEC pressure switch. Over here is the VTEC pressure switch. So it was either I had a wiring issue because I did install the VTEC wiring for this motor because the original harness did not have a VTEC. So it was either a wiring issue or an oil pressure issue. And I was keeping my fingers crossed to pray that it wasn't an oil pressure issue. So I started doing some continuity tests, checking the wiring. I checked the ground. The ground was good. Then I started tracing the, the power lead that goes to the, the ECU to see if that was a problem. So what I did do... Um, I checked from here to here it was good because I had about three soldered connections most likely the problem lies in the connection so after checking everything going through the wiring I did discover a problem so over here the lead that I hooked up into the ECU here for um what was it? D6 for the VTEC pressure switch. I had the wrong wire in there. I, I thought this yellow with green stripe wire was the VTEC pressure switch, but in fact, it's the green and yellow wire. So I had them switch backwards. So I'm gonna go and reverse this and then restart the car to see if the check engine light comes back. So I actually made a sub harness for the VTEC. So this connector houses my VTEC solenoid, my VTEC pressure switch, and also the knock sensor. And then it gets joined into this end. Then it goes down to my ECU. So I had the wires mixed up. So that was the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch them out. And then I'll see if that fixes the issue. So in the 92 Accord, this is gonna be the OBD1 diagnostic port. Um, normally there's like a, a plastic cover over here. Whatever color your interior is, it's gonna be that color plastic. You just pop the panel out and then there's this blue connector. All you have to do is jump the wires and turn the ignition to the on position without starting it. And then it's gonna start flashing the codes at you. Those are loaded in, bang bang. Now I'm gonna double check my VTEC solenoid because I don't wanna come back in here. So the VTEC goes in A4, that's the second from the bottom. Yeah, that looks right. If you guys wanna find the ECU in your um, CB7 or 92 Accord, or most old Hondas around this era, you're gonna wanna go on the passenger side, lift up the carpet underneath the dashboard, and you're gonna see this panel right here. Once you unbolt this panel, you will find the ECU. Um, if you have an automatic, there will be also an automatic transmission computer here as well. So that's where you go to find the ECU. And like I said before, this is the diagnostic port, this blue connector on the passenger side behind the plastic. I 
as you guys can see there is no more check engine light so that um, ECU pin that I hooked up was causing the problem now you guys can see the motors running nice and smooth um, it's idling a little bit low but I will deal with that in another video see the headers are starting to change color and she died that's because the idle super low but um this is the VTEC sub harness that I hooked up it goes to the VTEC pressure switch goes to the VTEC solenoid and also the knock sensor which is located underneath the intake manifold I'm gonna start it back up and give it some gas hopefully it doesn't shut off again does that when the motor is cold I gotta let it warm up speaking of that I have a uh, a remote a remote IAC my idle air control valve is mounted here because I don't want it to be heating up my intake that robs your horsepower And also, there's no EGR on this motor, so the EGR has been deleted on this manifold. There's no EGR valve. So there you go, people. She started. She's running. And I, I fabricated this uh, intake from a BB6 uh, Preludes, uh, uh, what do you call this, a RAM intake. Running nice and quiet. Running nice and quiet.